Um, well, Harvest House is actually more than what a lot of other agencies do here in Southeast Texas. We're different. Um, because we focus on youth who have been sold for sex, they have been trafficked for sex, and other youth who are highly at risk for being sold for sex. And other agencies around here don't do that. Um, but not only do we respond once to their lives, so we have advocates who are on call 24-7. So if there's a child who's been recovered in, let's say, a sex trafficking sting locally, um, within our area, we will respond within 90 minutes of this child being recovered and we will go to the police department or to the hospital for exams and there's a lot of people who are going to be in and out of this child's life there's going to be a million questions from many different people and our advocate is there to be the voice of the child to be there to hold her hand to be able to make sure that he gets the services that he needs um, because these are boys and girls within our community and a lot of times people think about trafficking um, what they see in the movies that a kid is in a parking lot, they're stole away from their parents, and all of a sudden they're pulled into trafficking. And that has happened before, but within our area, that is not the norm. The norm is that someone is groomed by either an older boyfriend or an older family member into committing an act, and then all of a sudden they're held in it. And so this child is sitting in school every day, and then they're being trafficked at nights and weekends. And that's what's so sad, is that they're kids that you see every day, you just don't know that they're being sold for sex at night. And so our advocate's going to be there to help them traverse the trauma that lasts for years. This is not something that just goes away because a child is pulled out of it. This might actually now be their comfort place. And so we have to be with them as they realize what's happened to them and they heal. They go from that victim status to being a victor later on. And it's a long process. So usually our, um, our clients are young, right? Yeah, so the average age that a child is first trafficked is 12 to 14 years old, which is middle school, roughly. Yes. Um, so our, if we get a call at 2 o'clock in the morning or 2 o'clock in the afternoon, our full-time paid social workers, who we call advocates, um, will respond within 90 minutes, like Marilyn said. Um, but And it's not just they respond in crisis, they will walk with that kid until they're 22 when they age out, and hopefully we've walked with them and they have healed um, from their trauma. And so um, the advocates play a really important role of consistency um, and support in that kid's life as they um, go through the up and ups and downs of healing. Yeah. So we're going to connect them to services within our community. Uh, so we're going to work with making sure that they are able to get counseling and, and benefits and be able to be enrolled in school. And when it comes time for jobs, being able to get that training that they need to feel confident uh, to be able to continue on in their life. It's hard to work through the crisis, the trauma, the shame that they've experienced, but we will be there to hold their hand the whole way until they can become an adult who knows their worth and is a value to our community. Wow. That yeah. was powerful. That, yeah. that, that, that was, what'd you get from that? I mean, I got that we have a group in this area, a nonprofit organization that really needs our help in ending sex tra trafficking in this area. They really do, it's, it's a big deal. It's not just people that are getting picked up, it's families, I mean, that, that, that's a lot of information there. We really started off with this video to get the chamber kind of a little bit more involved. And since we have a large reach invader we're supporting, these are the kind of things that we wanna help support. Um, what, what do you think some of the chamber members can do or the people in the community? How can we help them? Well, I'm, I'm thinking right now for my business, I can tell you right now that we are going to look into becoming a monthly partner. And I hope that there are many other businesses out there that choose to do the same thing because we all know that having a, a steady monthly income is the thing that makes things happen. And um, I want to help these ladies make things happen in this area and for this for this call. So that's absolutely, what I'm going to do. Absolutely, you as a business owner, me as a business. I think me as a business owner is you know obviously the real estate agent. We could, I can make uh, we can make that donation. We can make that happen. You know, maybe every transaction we have have a percentage go. Um, every little bit counts. Obviously, she said one of the important lines: the more that you give, the more that they can do. And foundations and charitable organizations like this, they, they, they thrive on that stuff. Mm -hmm. They can't grow. They need help. They need funds. And the more power they have and the more money in the bank, the, the, the look, they need your help. 
Let's get out consistently. there. Consistently. If you've got questions. Consistently is what I see. If, consistently. If you've got help or if you've got questions, you need some information, call her or myself. We are very visible within the community. And that this is this is about making a, a community great. This is why we're proud to call this place home. That's right. Guys, talk to you soon. Bye-bye.